What is up guys, welcome to the second episode of the Yasu to Diamond series. If you have not checked out the first episode, I highly recommend doing that first. I have a link in the description below. So we are in gold elo, but the MMR is around plat and emerald, so we will not get to play against gold elo players. It's just a visual rank, uh, what matters here is the MMR and that's the plat elo set. So here, the uh, Icebound Gauntlet. That, that's where it becomes really good, is that when you play against, you know, those AD assassins that Yasuo can struggle against because he's really squishy. That's when you can go Ice from Gauntlet and become a, a Bruiser pretty much. Because assassins have a very hard time dealing with Bruisers. Against that, what you want to do, first of all, if you stay behind minions, it is going to reduce the damage of his Q if it ends up hitting you. As long as you're not the first target that gets hit. That's important to know. And do not take... Bone plating. That'd be pretty grief, since he can poke it out pretty easily. We'll take that one. Thank you very much. I'm not gonna flash me, right? Oh, my bad. Whoops. I should have flashed that one, I could have killed him. <laughs> my bad, my bad. That's a big misplay I did. So, in this matchup here, you can play aggressively 1, 2, and 3, and 4 as well. It starts becoming difficult when he gets level 6, right? Because that's why he starts, you know massively outbursting you and also that mobility makes it really hard for you to hit a knock up and you don't hit a knock up then there's no ult and save your win wall for his w when he uses w don't use it to block out one q i did not use it for this one because his second shuriken did not hit and as such the damage is reduced And be really careful. So when he uses a W, that's where he's vulnerable. That's when you want to look for traits. That's when he uses W, he's going to use his Q as well, most likely. And we're gonna go Ice Spawn, but first we're gonna get the Kraken. Oh, there must be premates. Maybe not, I don't know. I'm gonna keep up the pressure. He could be coming from this side. In that case, we can just, you know, run towards the bot. Answer the Q poke, especially early on in the game, guys. Really important to do. And playing as a Thresh, so of course he can also roam a lot if he wants to. Very possible, for sure. In that case, we can just let him push in this wave. If he resets, we're gonna um, create a freeze. Oh, he lost what? Lost the CS. We don't see a Thresh bot side, so he could definitely be roaming. We don't know yet. Yeah, he will see him now. He's good. Good trade once again. Because he's slow. Let's see if we can cancel out the recall. Nice. Pretty doomed for him now. We probably trim that wave a bit now, nah, whatever. Imagine if he stays then he's really smart. See, I cancel his recall, waste, uh, wasting his time, and then means that he's going to lose this entire cannon wave. And the wave is in the perfect spot for me, so that's why I decided to recall and did it over here. He's 21 CS, I'm 43. That's already a massive lead. He's coming 
Back to lane. With some massive items. Put the ignite out. Have to be careful when he gets level 6 to him. Don't have to use ignite. I knew that he was probably going to take that other clone. So I just aim the uh, tornado at that and bam. He's toast without me having to use ignite. I just took the drake so he brand could be coming mid from the side. Who knows what he's doing. Right, oh well, there he is. We have tier twos, so we fine, we good, we good. Oh man, he's getting spamping, bro. Also because he's within lethal range of the Branderonis. Yeah, Sheko can hold. Justice. Need a bit more gold to get this item. Now that he is level 6, so the issue here is that on Yasuo, you go tier 2 boots, meaning you have no AD, you have no HP, no armor, right? You're very squishy and he gets a massive laning item, like the Dirk here. So that means that if he lands a full combo, you're getting straight up one shot. That's what makes it really difficult early on, is the fact that you have nothing, you know, that can protect you. And that's what most of Yasuo's build is, it consists of these, you know, squishy items. That's why by going Icebound Gauntlet after the Krang Slayer, you're going to be a decent bruiser. And do not use the Wind Wall. Be really careful because if your Wind Wall is on cooldown, he's going to look to engage. And if you have minions around you, also important. He just has to our sustain here by going for some smart pokes. Since he has one potion left. Did Brand not see that? Oh, he's going for... I hope he can take it before Brand comes. Okay, good. Good job, good job. Zed could be here. Who knows? A rip cannon. AP volley barrel, okay. Oh, is that the uh, Rift Mega Volley Bear? Who goes Nash's Tooth as well? Maybe some sort of a hybrid build, who knows? What lane is getting demolished, man? Wow, that's not good. That makes Ice from Gauntlet even better. So it also helps against the Draven, since he has lots of raw AD. Now's the chance he could engage, for example. But I'm walking back here since I don't see the bot lane and also don't see the brand. And my wind wall is on cooldown, so this is a very risky point of me to step up. I'm just staying within range of XP for now. You see this way. Oh, what, man? That hit? I'm not... I'm not dying for that. If I if I walk within range to ignite, he can just ult. Oh, that's a Draven with his mythic item already. Wow. Just wow. We still need a bit more gold to get ours. I don't understand why Bran was so fast though. I have tier 2s. Yeah, I don't think uh, he should be going bot. You probably need to 4-man uh, him maybe, or 3-man him. The thing is when you try to gank a lane with Thresh. You have to make sure Thresh is not staying over here and lancing him out.
That's so bad, bro. Ooh, I almost cut it. Deco dies is uh, really terrible for us. Let's see uh, what I can do. Wait, maybe he can jibate. Maybe some uh, jibates. Should I flash and die for him? No, imagine the thresh comes and I die for nothing. That's just 1k goal on this guy. Commit. He might die to the Z. Uh, it's fine. He probably dies to the Z. Right? Yeah. Let's just go for the tower. Yeah, that's pretty obvious, bro. You got pinged, you decided to not move all the way back, and you died. It's okay, though. We got all of the plates. And next recall is going to be with a... Oh, nice! 1k gold. always the case with Draven, I feel like, is that they just go straight up. Like, either they completely destroy the lane, or they int. i never seen, like, something in the middle. No hold on the set, so we good. We good, we good. And since the support is down, it should be limited what Draven can do. I'm setting on so much gold, I would like to recall, but I'm gonna fix this wave too. It's going to be really fun once we have the ice spawn. Man, I should not have stayed for that one. But I think it's better that Seth got it instead of um, the brand. I'm fine with that. Uh, What? He got solo killed? Solo kill? I need that ice spawn as fast as possible. Uh, because the items. If I don't have wind wall, I'm just getting straight on one shot. They just have to stay back. She's so bad. I can, I can see why they lost bot. Please don't play AD carry again, bro. For some reason, he thought he had to auto attack, so he was within range of Thrashy, and then he dies. Some people just will never get the uh, mechanics or knowledge to play a certain role, so they should just forget about it and play something else. That's one of them. Still needing a bit more gold, so this is a bot lane that's going to constantly die, I'm pretty sure. Meaning that uh, I won't be able to pressure as much as I want to on bot side. But we'll see if we can get this tower before something uh, terrible happens again. We do have a winning top, you know, and Jungle doing alright. 
We get this, it's pretty huge. Please don't rely on the bot lane, bro. You're still squishing it. Until you get an ultimate off. Bro, why are these players so bad? Oh my god, man, they are so dumb. Well, nothing to do about that one. Even when you're spamming them to back off, they don't. And he got one shot. For, for some reason, he thought he was a tank with a Triforce and Tiamat. Yep. He's TPing. I think he should just stay in the side lane. Because he's behind now. How fun is that? He's actually behind. It's warded, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Gonna take out this blast cone. Wonder needs the whole breaker. Bro, even this guy has a shutdown now. Even this clown has a shutdown, can you imagine? Oh, I had no words. These are the teams that you get sometimes. These are the teams that you get sometimes. And if you guys think I know I get them, here's your proof. They're among the worst possible players you can get. Good. Wow, man. How insane is Brand Jungle, though? How, s how sick is that? I'm just getting straight on one shot. Just straight up. So our team fight can be okay if Amumu gets a good ultimate off and I win all the brand stuff as well as the Draven, everything at once. <laughs> okay. I mean I could see the point if he had a shutdown on him but he had nothing. Keep pushing. Does he or does he not? Doesn't. So the Volibear is able to think and buy his anti healing, but our Trundle cannot buy anti healing against Volibear's massive healing. <laughs> Good. Good, good, good. We need kills on the AD carry. One is a bit harder to uh, take out. But you see, you know, we have the. Um,
Oh man. Oh man. Their reaction time? I don't even want to say it. Okay, that's some damage. I'm gonna get obliterated by the brand passive. It's still proccing onto me. <laughs> Keeping without watching the map. Are they gonna go towards the Baron or is he going to push top? One K shot down the Z. Just too mobile though to like be able to catch him, so unless he wastes his W. You're not stealing a shot down bro. Oh nice! Oh, well played, bro. You actually did it. You actually did it. Can't believe my eyes. Good job, man. Good job. They might have just saved our game. That was huge. Now, you know, in team fights, we need a great a move ult, and my win wall has to be on point every fight. Because that brand ult is going to wipe out my entire team. We bought Majas with no stacks, what? Like, what? Justice. That's a pretty word. Maybe this one can save me uh, during the Drake fight? I go in and bait out Sid ults. Brandall and then pop it and then GG so no. Never could stay in one place. He's going alone again. He's going alone again. Well, that could be coming from a side. Okay, they are flankeronis. They're not waiting. Just wait a bit, please. can't enter the fight. Where did that guy go? Oh, there he is. I just win wall if he comes to try and uh, do something. They actually started to win now without my help. Insanity. But what? Did he think they were recalling the low HP? This is the guy they entered somehow. The Siren 3 is at on 8 kills. I'll take one more wave. Sheku can actually do an insane amount in team fights with his boxes. Because like AP Sheku is really, really annoying to deal with for the enemy team. This has to be the last item. I could also get MR. Actually, I think... Yeah, I think I might sell this one later. And then get either Witsend or MR. Because of these two guys. Lots of magic damage. Do you need anti-healing against the volley bear? Oh, is he just pure heals? Oh man. Are you guys doing this? Hey, volley bear's not resetting. 
And he's TPing now, okay. I think that TP was a bit wasted. Oh, well, but it's not her TP. He could be coming from this side, and I don't have the flash up yet. We actually want to play it in a way where they had to run into us, so we can use the Shaco boxes. You know, and get some free damage off. Nice, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, just back off, just back off. Holy smokes, man. Bundle still does not have anti-healing. So that oh trundle bro you got it I'm not pushing bot wait why why is he going mid what bro that's no wave Please get the kill. Okay, okay. Okay, good, good. Yeah, this could mean that we get the Baron. And I got I got demolished by Brandt, so I need MR. I for sure need MR, so I'm gonna sell this cloak and then I'll probably get a uh, witch scent, because I cannot buy mauve when I have a shield bow. If it still works the same way. Raven is alive though. He is playing with fire, bro. We need to force them to come a face check into the Shaco boxes. I have to keep pushing the midway. Okay, got his ultimate out again. My win wall needs to be on point. I need to block out the brand. I don't block that out, you see that massive AoE damage you dealt? Bro, I took... man. Boring, bro. Need to wait for the wind wall, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can do that, Drake. Rundle has to back off now. If he dies, they're gonna threaten the Baron. Please don't die. And they're gonna send four men after him. Okay, he's alive. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. I still prefer him getting Hallbreaker. Yeah, let's go, let's go. One step ahead of the past. It's Brand staying, he can wipe out the wave. Oh no, he died too early on. Okay, he's dead. The jungler's dead. So no Baron. 
I think I was dead regardless here, so I just try to take out the brand so they don't have a, a smite. So they have to be worried if they try decide to... Where are you guys going, hello? And what MR item? Yeah, it has to be Whitsunt, I guess. We can't afford it yet. I will be able to when I respawn. Okay, that's good. Good, that's good. No. Nice! Oh no, why is this happening? Full build Yasu and I have a wood scent. Which is definitely not enough. But it's going to help. It's going to help for sure. Yeah, let's do it. Draven the spot side. Oh, that was really close too. I had to help doing this. I had to win more Draven ults. Maybe he already ults it. Okay. I don't want to die here, man. Please don't. My Guardian Angel's up, so we just need to look for a good team fight once the Trundle is alive. And then I do a good win wall on the brand ults. So he gets nothing there. Okay, Trace is hovering. So I need to clear out the vision so Draven cannot push. Without being scared of uh us being there. I buy a pot, red pot. Oh Sheko. The risky gameplay. When we see Volibear bot side, we need to force a fight. Because he's playing without CP. One good win wall can carry this team fight. One good win wall. The win wall that blocks out Brand Alts and Raven auto attacks, and it should be won. But the problem is that. If it is a chaotic team fight where we are just split, my win ball is not going to help. Why is Sheku bot? Nice, that's what we needed. Please don't. Oh, he died. He died. Oh no. The Drake is up soon, guys. Oh my god. Just let him die. No matter how big of a lead you give to apes like the Samira, the Amumu. And as well as the Sheku now, it's not going to change how they play. That's just a fact. They could have ended the game if I died. They did not have any reason to go in. Like, absolutely no reason. What is this guy doing though? Another ape. At least they are on both sides, that's at least an advantage. <laughs> oh we could have gotten the soul right here if they did not grief it for some reason. We need to go top now. It was such a perfect setup for the soul as well. He needs to take the blue. 
OP on Shaco. Maybe I could wait and maybe Draven comes and defends. Maybe not? No. Not all sync because I don't have. Nice! That just won us the game. GG's! It's gonna take the W. GG's! We just won the game off of that. Go the wave, the wave, the wave! Oh, we don't have a wave. We need tank? Okay, I guess they can't. Nice. Oh man, I guess he can't. Well, GG's. That was a very chaotic game. What shows the mid to late game team fights? That was it for the first one. Let's head towards the next game. Welcome back to game 2 against the Akali and we have a 2 million mastery points AD carry so I think it's safe to say that this guy knows how to play his champ. I am however getting pretty tired of seeing Brand Jungle in the enemy team so often now. Like uh, I feel like it's something that should be banned no? Because it feels insanely strong. I like playing against him as support, but in the jungle, it's uh, not very good. Like He's going to shred the Javan as well as the uh, Malphite. I'm not sure how Malphite is a good pick here, uh, but for the synergy, it's insane. Like For once, we actually have some ridiculous synergy on our side. Yeah, we saw that what. Okay, so the Akali matchup. First things first, when she starts the Q, you want to walk in and out of the Q range, right? So you want to bait it out. If it's a good Akali play, it can be hard to do. But if you bait it out early on, especially because she does not, it costs a lot of energy for it to use, so she cannot spam it. And if she misses it, she does not get the passive, meaning that import auto attack. When you have the shield, it's okay, you don't care too much. But if you can force a little one fight, that'll be insane. Since you obviously have the lethal tempo, it's going to give you a massive advantage. I'm all in here when I get loot too. Nice, the shield tanked some of the damage, it's good. Another thing is when she has the W, which she did not take level 2. You also want to take that out. So you could, uh, for example, you could fake engages to make her use it and then just peace out. That's one way of doing it. Like this. Now when the sun cooldown, you can look for engages. So probably the main thing here is constantly weave in and out. Off the Q range, try to bait it out uh, because if you're playing a melee champ and you're within range, she is most likely going to be trying to spam you with it, with Q and auto attacks. I'm gonna ping the sums in case he wants to gank, oh no. Bro, are you getting dove? This early on? Go for Javan if he moves. This blade never gets any lighter. Don't, don't, just back off. I think it's going to be a uh, hot lane for the Malphite, right? Early on. Uh, but we can get a really good engage and similar to like the last games I played against the brand I had to be really good with a win wall, you know, try to time it insanely good
Alright, then the W's out. Because it's really hard trading against the Kali. When she has the W up. No tower shot. Something I uh, do a lot, which is a mistake, is that I don't probably calculate the tower range when I dash in and stuff. Nice. Do I? Ooh. One HP gang. Okay, good. This lane starts becoming difficult when she gets level 6 too. Um, she has a lot of mobility, meaning that she has a very easy time dodging your knockup, and in that case you can never ult, basically. We just have to stay healthy. And you can win while the Q. But for example, if you can dodge her E later on, uh, because Akali max E second and it actually deals a lot of damage. It's like an old late game with the damage is dealing. So if you can, you know, take that out. That'd be insane. Here we go. I have a, I have a ults. Never gets any lighter. All right, I think I think not. All right, hold some us up. Now, normally the difficult part begins. Need to combo our stuff. Just need to be patient. There's still an assassin. They are really strong in the lane. Like really, really strong. So, you know, you're going to outscale these matchups. So it's more important that you don't end. Even if you don't get a kill. Well, thing about flash queuing. Oh, no. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. Oh, that one hit. But it's not enough. Am I getting ganked? Okay, I'll back off then. I will not forget who I am. Good ping. I did not see that one, so that's good. Oh, she's staying. Okay. I have the old top soon again. Got the E out. He still has uh, the W Shroud. So issue here is that the brand could be coming, which I feel like would be the case. If she engages, it means that he's here. Well, I could have altered off of that one, but I think that would have been a one for one, right? I need some vision. Okay, we see the support. I'll fight getting toasted. Oh my god, you see, that's how it is with these matchups. If I did not int... If I did not int, that flash would have been dead. This is exactly how it is with the matchups. If you make a mistake, it's over. Now, if I did not troll, I would have been on two kills right now, but... 
I griefed a free kill and then I ended up dying for it. So our jungle is getting really hardcore out CS'd and gapped, which is a big issue because our Malphite is getting destroyed as well. And I also just insert. Bot lane is, is also not good because they are playing the stronger lane. Like their AD carry is going to scale 10 times better, same for their jungle. Our AD carry is mainly utility with the ult. Right, took out the item passive, that was a good one. Look at that damage she's dealing. I've been taking far better trades, but she's still out trading me. That is Akali. That is Akali. We have to go back to playing a bit safe again. It's so brand. They saw him and he's getting caught. We have flash up? He has flash up. He should be fine. Okay. This is how he wants to bait it out. Accuse. Ran could be coming, but I think he might be doing the Herald. Look at that. Pathetic champ. Look at that ridiculous damage and tankiness as well. Hang on, back off. We still ahead CS. So let's just keep that lead and not in. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Pop the ghost. Wait, Ash, why not auto sacking? Fine, the ghost is also used. The lack of brain cells on this guy, I can... yeah. I'll see what happened. It's always the case when they out of nowhere fall so far behind against the enemy jungle. Like, it makes sense. Based on how easily this guy gets baited and his lack of awareness, he should not be playing jungle. It's a role that requires you to have great awareness. Never gets any Can I die? If I die, then rip my tower. Ooh, that one hit. Another hit. He does have ults. He can land a... Oh, I don't think... Wait, what is he doing? What's this guy doing? Why is he not helping top? Like, what? Oh, man, I messed up the combo. I'm playing so bad, bro. That's the EQ flash I tried to do, but I messed up the timing, as you would have been dead. This is why it's really good to use the combo, because he doesn't... He's not able to react to it. That's what are you doing, man?
Bro, finally. This Jarvan is an actual bot. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. Oh my god, man. I'm I'm gonna report this guy. That's guaranteed. Holy smokes. He's an actual ape. He's being as useless as he possibly can, and then he's denying kills too. I don't mind if he's actually, you know, if he's taking the kills and he's doing stuff around the map, then it's okay. But this guy, he's doing nothing for the team. Mm, let's see, should we just... Yeah, I think I was thinking about selling the Adorn's Blade, but I think I just sell the uh, refillable and get an LB of sort. Or I could get Witsend. You can also get the Sweeper against the Akali, but you know, having no vision in the laning phase. Well, see how Lux. Please get out. Okay. So the issue we have here is that Akali has a pretty good time against the Lux and an Ash. Malphite is starting to do great. That's nice to see. Maybe we can rely on his holds. Oh, they're gonna die, right? Yeah. Not worth it, man. Like I said, this is why this jungle. Get him a bend. Like he's just griefing. He's griefing everyone right now. Not only not only me. Rip, I'll fight. Two point two K HP. This is a lot tankier. She has a lot more upfront damage and she has a lot more mobility. You're not going to mess with that until later on or she makes a massive mistake. I'm just trying to poke with the Qs. Because Brand is probably doing the Herald, I can imagine. If she had the W up, she would have went in on the locks. Let's guarantee it, because I would have done the same. I'm just gonna let him die. He's worthless anyways. Really blind too. Just straight up engaging without thinking about who could be here. But we are winning pretty hard in CS. That's good. Uh, they have a Herald, so that's why I cannot, you know, just engage. That's a lot of HP I lost. It's fine. Brand is there, he has the Herald guys. Just have to farm better for now, that's all we can do. If I force unnecessary fights and I die for it, we're gonna get punished so hard. If 
I just think he can fight the uh I'll fight Hassol, he should be fine. Never mind, there's no tower. He's dead. Let's go on the brand. He does not have flash up. Bro, why are you ulting the support? What am I watching? Bro, what kind of massive ape do we have in the jungle? He's ulting the support. That's a brand right next to him. With Herald. And he wants to ult the support. What an embarrassment. This one looks pretty much over, but we'll try. We'll see what we can do to stall it out. We'll see. Our bot lane is getting demolished, which is pretty embarrassing in itself as well, since they're playing a heavy poke against a champion that can't do anything about it. But at the same time, they also got ganked. Malphite is doing okay top. He's the only one who's doing okay. We have a embarrassment in the jungle. And bot lane griefing. Oh, I actually survived that one. Unbelievable. Oh, Malphite. Nice, bro. Good stuff. But watch out for the brand. Infinity Edge and uh, Magic Resistance. I guess there's no way around it. Because they have the AD carry also deals a ton of magic damage. Could be what? Oh, never mind. He's mid. But they had three heavy magic damage sources. But lane has to be especially careful. Your team has destroyed a turret. That's the first tower of the game. Bot tower almost down. Looks like we're going to lose our bot tower. Nice. It's overkill, but we had to do it, man. Like this, cha the mobility of this champ, you're not catching it. If it gets to ult, I'm gonna go bot now and see what I can do. My bot lane. Very nice. Love to see it. Maybe sneak. But maybe he will be recalling a close, but he's not. He's too smart. Never gets any well, you are going to get this team sometimes. Not much to do about it. You know, you will get into us no matter what in this game. Like, you cannot avoid it. But you have to think about the fact that some games will be lost no matter what, and then the other games you have an, an actual chance of being able to impact the game. So don't waste your energy on the games that are lost. This one we still have a slight chance, but it's like 90% certain that it's lost, just based on the IQ of these players. Like based on how dumb they are. There would be a decent chance of us winning if they just started using their brains, but 
I think it's too much to ask of people in this game. So we'll try to do the best we can, and if it's lost, it is what it is, you know. Then we'll we'll try the next one. Like my, it's so sad for Malphite too. Alt. I want to kill. That's why I ult it. I ult it, and I think Malphite is fine with it too, because I had to carry this if we. If we want just a 10% chance of winning, it has to be me. It's so sad too because Malphite has been doing well as, uh, recently. And he's just forced to lose because his lane has no impact when that's the inting bot. Yeah, he goes again. Engages when he knows his teammates are not close. Take the fruits? No mind, he doesn't want to. I think we need to play around me and the Malphite. That's another Drake lost, for sure. Cannot do anything about that, bro. Now a jungle just got blasted. He wants to go in the car. Have to make sure the guy is going down. We have to defend the base tower. I'm gonna get the wit sent. It's gonna be huge. Let's see if we can do something onto the AD carry now. Malphite CP? He has TP. Oh, uh, Javan getting flanked. Come on, get the AD carry, bro, please. Yeah, I'm out. See him. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh my god. One guy? Actually, three people. Three players are losing the game for us. That's a good item. Like, uh, this this makes sense because the AD carry and also brand. Yeah, look, look at this. Look, look at the IQ of this player. So when they decide to grief like this, of course it's over. Like you're not able to do much. We can still try with the Malphite ults this time around because he just used the flash. Ask him. But even if I take down the AD carry, they still have a very fit brand. And then also Akali that can dash around and take out my bot lane. And a perfect team fight, I take out the AD carry and then I block out the brand with my win wall. When I say block out, I mean his Q and his ults. Even with this jungle, I think we could definitely have won if we had the AD carry on our team. He's just mechanically better than ours. Like far better. But that's also how it goes when you only play one champ. This guy is a one trick. He has almost 2 million mastery points. That's why it's recommended that if you want to climb, it's one tricking is the way. One trick or you have two picks. I'm not sure if he's alone, so I'm not gonna... Anything for now. Okay, they got him. Nice. 
Knolts. Knolts. Oh, he almost cut it off. But he has to stop us though, so I don't think I'll be able to kill him. And there's also the uh, top side. Hmm, yeah, it's not, uh, not very good, not very good. It's gonna stop watch, no? That's why I did not ult the Milio. We want to save it for the main carries, in this case being the brand as well as the AD carry. You're gonna get shredded so fast and they're gonna take the soul now. Like they have so much damage man. Like I think I need to start banning brand because people here don't know how to play against it. They stack up. He has ults. He has ults and I can't ping it because Riot Games changed the ping system. He's not gonna try to take it. I mean, we, we should have tried. I think we're probably going to lose anyways. Please go on the right. Please don't ult the Akali, man. Like, please don't. Look at the support. <laughs> Running in melee range. Don't just back off, otherwise they're gonna end. We didn't even get the uh, Drake. But I don't think they can do it now, because Hakali cannot. He has no damage on the Drake. Are they still gonna try? Should I get a Force of Nature too? Actually, I think I'll try it. I think it's the only uh, way. This is, uh, this is our chance. Eddie carry, watch out for the Akali, bro. Our jungle chasing the support once again, and then he also leaves the support to live. Oh my god, man. Oh my god, it's so embarrassing to watch. Yeah, let's try, let's try. He ha he doesn't have ults, that's the problem. Looks like it's over. I'm not gonna let them FF. They might would, yes, all of them though. Justice. Gonna keep them in here. It's almost full build. We don't, we haven't even had one proper team fight because there's always somebody getting caught. Now they're getting a Baron. One step ahead of the past. And what does that mean? That means GG. That means good luck. Baron and the soul. And then they had a slow effect from it. They're just sure. Okay, no support. Maybe they can kill the AD carry now. Maybe it's worth it to trade me for the AD carry. Wait for the Malphite. Just wait for them. Oh my days. Oh my god, what's this guy doing? Oh my eyes. Oh my eyes, bro. And the AD carry straight up face tanking full damage. W. Shut down. 
Okay. Okay, it's getting something. Getting something at least. The thing is, it might look like this is a silver elo or gold elo game, but these players are high plat and emerald. So that's what makes all this confusing. Like how they're playing and stuff. And I've been saying it since the start, we still have a chance if we group up and have a proper team fight, but we never get to that stage because somebody always gets caught. Especially the bot and the jungle. I am full build. I think this item is pretty ridiculous. We don't have Malphite. Why are we trying to fight without the Malphite? We need the Malphite. We're probably gonna lose the team fight. Oh man, he even has... Unbelievable. He's alone. <laughs> he was isolated. That's good. That's good. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna go topside. Now they just need to hold. You just have to super engage. Yeah, I guess that was not enough to dodge. Ults. My bad though. That that was a player of me. Mm, yeah, I think it's... I guess it's over. We need to... I think I need to stop banning Brent. Somehow he always gets insanely fat then. It could be that he's OP, I don't know. But I'm tired of seeing like my junglers getting stomped by that one champ. But it's almost 40 minutes in game, so we I think uh, all of us have been holding out pretty well, considering how far behind we were to start off with. We have an AD carry with zero damage. Rid of your ults. He's a super tank with this item. Imagine if we had a Serpent's Fang. I'm pretty sure it works against the shield, right? No one yeah, 1k shield. We don't have anyone who can build it. If Javan builds it, he's going to be way too squishy. Our comp is pretty good if we play around it, like probably, but we have not been able to do so. But I need to find a way to engage onto the AD carry with a Malphite. Even better if Malphite hits the support and the AD carry at the same time as well. That would be huge. Because then he cannot peel the um, Kog'Maw. I am pushing out this wave because lost all inhibitors. So it's going to... I think I was dead regardless. I want to push it out. Because we have many cannon minions going to crash into our base. And we have no towers left. But... I died. Like an ape. Got one for one and also got an old out, but I think you're not. You won't be able to do that, bro. I 
Fangaronis against an assassin. I think someone is forgetting about our base. Recalling right next to the super minions. This is why I cleared out the bot side. Yeah, stealing is the only option we have. But it's the Javan. Can't expect anything of this guy. I think Yasu is a pretty big advantage when they have super minions because he still stretches them. Well, GG's. I don't think there was anything we could do this game. Uh, when there's such a massive gap in the jungle and bot too. It's just how it goes sometimes, so... Let's head on towards the next one. And see what we can do there. GG's. Game 3 it is against Akali, a really boring, I mean not so boring but not very fun matchup for the Yasuo. Um, I think I showed this in the last video or was it this one because um, I don't play all of the games in one day uh, so it's actually been a couple days since I played the last couple of games. But um, it can be a very punishing matchup after level 6. Um, so if you're looking to get a lead, it has to be early on. You know, level 1, level 2. Level 3 is also possible, but uh, if she has the Shroud, it's something you want to be taking out first. Um, as long as she has that, she can always, you know, outtrade you. And uh, we have a uh, Lilia top. He gave him it. That's nice. But uh, looks like he's first timing. Maybe not, I don't know. But apparently we have three mid laners and uh, they decided to trust me. I shall not int. Otherwise this would be pretty doomed. Okay, that's a interesting start. I guess it's okay since it's against the Estrel and he probably starts tier or something. Hey, level one. You walk within her Q range and try to bait it out. Now this is somebody who actually plays Akali, so... Might be a bit better with the Qs, who knows. You see, I intentionally walked in on the first one, made her waste it. Because she does not have enough energy to spam it early on. You just have to constantly walk in like this. And then you can force trades. I'm gonna keep going in here. Like that. That's that. You force those early trades. Um, because when she gets level 6, it's going to be pretty hard. And as I said, she does not have a lot of energy early on, so she cannot spam the Q. If she misses one of these, you just look for that trade. Also, look at the minion wave, because if the minion wave is too big, then you don't want to stay there, right? Because even though you're going to out damage her, the minions will still destroy you. Got to ping her sums. He has to be careful, no? She's doing great job, that's nice to see, but... Uh... Where's the Lee Sin? He could be bot. Not to start the red. Oh, looks like he started blue, then he might be topside. I have no idea, actually. Need some vision. And this wave is pushing towards me because the other wave crashed into the tower. So you don't end here. You don't just come engage. Now she has level 3, she has the shroud and the E as well. So her E doesn't deal that much damage yet. But the ultimate it deals later on is going to be similar to. Like the damage it deals later on is going to be similar to an ultimate. 
Take out the shroud and then just back off. Wait for it to come up. Oh, bro. I think it was a bit too early on to engage. Oh, we can fight this. Let's go on the least hand then. Nice. Good job, good job. So she doesn't have flash and of course we are way stronger 2 versus 2. That's a pretty free fight. I think he could go top. He got another Q stack. Ooh, another hit. We're not gonna eat to that low HP minion because then I will be within tower range. When the ignite is up, that's when you usually look for these type of kills because she has mobility. She did use the W. Oh, that Q, that was really important, that Q hit, but it did not totally poke it down. It took out the W. Ooh, that's a almost accurate prediction. I'm gonna cancel her recall. Okay, she stopped it. He's in here, it's okay. We can win that fight um, because Akali won't be able to participate in the fight since she's too low HP. Now we can use the wind wall to block out um, her Qs, for example, if it's needed. We also pretty healthy, so uh, you know, be pretty easy to uh, fight the listen. He's little four. I can still lose it though if I troll and play it bad. But if I play it right, then it should be one. Oh, I did not see the volleyball, that's my bad. Oh, I might get ignited. Oh, my bad, bro. Oh my god, I had the. That was so terrible. Okay, nice. We'll take that. That was really, really awful play by me, by the way. Because I could have, I could have gotten both of them if I did not int. And I also got level six, so I had the ultimate ready to go. He did get a kill, so we'll take it. I'm still super far ahead, yes. And she did not get a kill. Volibear is fat. Oh, he's level six, but she doesn't care, I guess. Flash out and uh... nice W's out. Perfect. Now just have to wait it out because she gets a lot of free energy that way. And also, she's level six now, but be careful that you don't get tagged by her E. If you get tagged, then she has a very easy way to engage, and it also deals a ton of damage. I, the second part of that E is not the first part, but the second part. Deals a ridiculous amount of damage. I need to ward over here because Lee Sin could be on the side. Need to ward the other side. Volpa is pretty close, so I could run towards him, but you know, Akali, running away from Akali who has ults, it's not a um, very reliable strat. Let's use the W. That's good. That's perfect. When that's down, you want to be looking for traits. Honor is in the heart. So the issue here is that Yasuo gets tier 2 boots, right? So you're going to be really squishy with no extra AD. She gets AP and HP from her build. That's bad. I should have hit that one. I also need the wind walls to fight her. Her items is going to give her damage as well as tankiness, and you only get attack speed early on. That is the issue. So you're going to be really squishy even though you are fed, until you get a couple items. 
And um, these empowered auto attacks is what you really want to focus on avoiding. Even if you get hit by the Q, as long as you avoid those empowered auto attacks, should be okay. Looks like Lee Sin might be around here. I'm just gonna stay back. Since he's playing really aggressive now, we have Wall Bear. Oh, he's not coming. Oh no. Twin Tower skill. Okay, took out the Q's and the W. We good. If she engages again, I'm gonna go for the kill. She won't. Play around her energy, guys. W gives her a lot of energy. So obviously that needs to be on cooldown when you fight. You dodge like one or two Q's. She has no energy left. And then you just go for an extended trait. Okay, is that a kill? Looks like it is. Lee Sin is missing, so it could definitely be mid. You hit the Q, doesn't matter, as long as she does not get the empowered auto tag off, her traits are going to be awful. You could still be here since she's pushing up. Usually a sign. Where's Lee Sin? He could definitely be close somewhere, uh, based on how she's playing. We have Volga close, I can just ping him. Playing back. Okay, energy is full. Please stop, okay. Oh my days. Oh my days, what? He's gonna survive. I'm gonna keep chase the thing. Oh, he had ults. That blows. That blows. That ping on the Lilia who was in base. Ah, <laughs> uh, bro. I think we um, played a bit too aggressive. Both of us and I flashed in so I could ignite her and get the kill. So that was that was actually our fault. Ethan did use the ult and he, he did use his. Botlane is doing great. It would be nice if I had enough gold for the cloak, but no ults. Wait, what? Oh, she has ult up now, almost. Oh, now she has it up. That would have been a free kill for her. If it was ready or sooner. So when you dash in towards her, usually she's going to respond by using her E. Oh, that was a bad trade for me. Now she can actually look for the kill. See, she can spam her Q a lot more now. So it starts uh, becoming a lot more difficult. Okay, Darius is dead. Nice. Oh, wow. Let's pick up the fruits. And then we'll go back to lane. Just one Q. Oh, oh she flashed, wait what? Oh it looked like she flashed but it was the W. And we'll take that one. We knew that her W was down, she also used the E early on so she has no way out. Because the first part of her ultimate is a point and click. It's only the second one that allows her to freely, you know, dash in any direction. She wants to. So that was pretty free. Drake is coming up. Lee Sin could definitely be mid right now, but I'm still gonna greet for this plate. Then I'll back off. I'm just gonna ping. I have so much gold here, so he knows I won't be in the lane. I'm gonna put this ward. It's a big item, so I want to base. I want to base pro.
Because your lead doesn't matter that much if you're not spending that gold. I need to uh, watch out. Top, li top lane is like constantly killed for both sides. Need to help this fight, seems like. Oh, I'm alone. Oh no, guys. Why did we even take this fight? Ali just got back into the game. Well, if I just got blasted instantly and then I was alone. And then now Dari side. Well, this is good for us because she scales 10 times better and ridiculous in team fights too. She's like really hard to catch. I mean, it was a bad fight, but it's not the worst. It's not the worst for sure. Just me, I need to stop, you know, inting. I was alone against the Lee Sin, Israel, and um, Rakan, but I still went for it because I want to get a kill before I died. We should definitely go for this. Oh, here. Wait, what is this guy doing? He's gonna jump over. Gonna give vision. Okay, it's fine. We'll just back off. Has a blue buff. Oh my days. Oh my god, are we fighting? Okay. Herald. The savior. Bro, why is this guy pinging? What? Need to mute him. Why did they make it so annoying when you want to mute people? Thank you very much. Unfortunately, no blue buff. Starius? Oh, he's dead. We have three levels up on him. Right. Nice. We're getting a, a shot down on the Lee Sin. The rip off is up. I have to get out of here because Darius is back. And also Akali. I need to push this before she engages, uh, because she can all in me right now. Right. Get out. You know, Hallbreaker would actually be really fun here. So the sweeper can work against the Kali because it's going to show her, um, what do you call it, like the shadow thingy, but it does not reveal her. Still, it can help you hit the skill shots and, you know, see where she's trying to escape, like see where she's positioned. But it does not show the actual character, but still pretty useful in fights. No flash on the Lee Sin, but we still don't see him. We'll have to respect Akali, it's Akali, you know, when she has the ultimate up. Bot lane just smacking that team. I need to go top. Akali's bot side, she wasted time. Oh no. Wait for me, wait for me, wait for me, wait for me. Just giving Darius that free.
I'm just gonna ignite him. I really see Pia watching him um, being able to escape. Akali could be waiting around here. Who knows what she's doing. He is missing from the map. Okay. I really fed Lilia. That's going to kite everybody on that team. And then we also have me. So we don't have any synergy, I think. I think the only synergy we have here is with Emilio. He has some kind of knockback, if I remember it right. I'm gonna go bot. You know what? I feel like I want to try the hole breaker. Okay, Darius is here. That's actually uh, a fight we can take. Need to not be the uh, first one to engage. And Akali is top, so we can use that time to uh, force a fight. We need to uh, fight now. We need to fight. Okay, okay flash out. Okay. I the Lilia ult, but I'm not going to engage by myself. Oh man, he's going ham. What, bro? What? Nice, we got everything. Let's just back off now. Let's not overstay for no reason. Oh my days, is that happening? Okay, good. One thing that happens a lot is that when you get a good fight in these ranks, you get a tower, some people refuse to back off. They push by themselves while some of the teammates already backed off and then they get caught. And the opponents, you know, get a Baron or Drake or towers out of it and that's how they come back into the game. Lots of team fighting happening, so I don't think Holebreaker will be an option. Also, I like to have Holebreaker when you also have TP, because if something does happen, you can help. So, if you hit everything, you are stronger than Darius, but he has flash and go, so he can kite you around. He just needs to hit a couple Qs and you lose the fight. So definitely need a minion wave to... Uh, Fight him probably. He's just waiting. He comes in probably means that um, somebody could be here. I'm going to back off. Yeah, well, bear with us. I'm gonna take the rip off. Oh, Caitlyn sees it. Let's get that. I really like that change they did because. Um, Recently, you don't really get any buffs. Especially not blue buff as a mid laner. Oh, he might get caught. But with this change, whenever they made it, uh, it's been a while since they changed it, but it's really nice. They're fighting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push bot. So now they grouped up. We have some good pressure top side with the Lilia. I'm gonna pressure bot, and then we kind of force them to split up. And Caitlyn can really abuse that because she's strong when it comes to um. Being able to siege. I need to hit her with a Qs to proc the rip off. But she has some good clear when she has the shroud up. Okay, that's a hit, and that was a Kraken hit too. Okay, all of them are missing, means they're recalled and probably coming. Ooh, oh. I 
against the Darius, you need to be in... Oh, that's a nice one. Nice cutting. Bro, I can't. He had ults. That was another free triple kill if I didn't int. He ulted me so I could not get any knock up off, sadly. Doesn't matter though, we're going to win all the fights when we group. I had a win wall so I can completely block out the Israel. Hey, okay, good ult coming off. Nice. Oh, she's... Oh, she does not have a flash up yet. Oh, she did use it, okay. Oh wow, even surviving a Darius ult. He can go in now, he doesn't have any stacks. He's dead. Nice. Nice, nice. Actually, the Baron would be a uh, free option since the jungler is dead. Now Estrel 2. Wow, okay. Great fighting, great fighting. But she has the Sonyas. Do this. You can take the blue as well. Alright. I need to not be bot right now. It's actually better if Lilia goes bot. Because she has TP soon. So I can be mid or top. I have flash up for this fight. I actually like to have level 16 before it starts if possible. I guess going to start without me. I need to push mid now. Um, something that a lot of people lack in these ranks is that they need to really make sure they push, uh, like punishing people if they're grouping up. You need to make sure they are going to lose something. There are no jungle camps here. Can't just allow them to group up for free. I'm gonna put a control ward here. We can take it. That's a low HP Darius. I think we should be here. Okay, I guess we don't. I'll wait here. Okay, that's even better. That's even better. Oh, I need to flash over. I don't want to get altered by the Akali. Rip. Caitlyn, Ripperonis. Wait, that only hit the Rakan, no? I'll push this wave. I'm gonna go for the objectives while they are chasing around. Only, uh, okay, even Israel has not recall yet. Just don't die. You don't have to die, because this is the only thing I'll be able to get it. Alright, we got everything. Good stuff, gonna clear the bot side jungle, the wolves and the grump, and then I can look for a reset. So, could definitely use something like a guardian angel so I can engage the fights. Without being scared that I just go down instantly because of how squishy I am, and also at the same time armor against Israel, Darius, and Lee Sin. Oh, the TP! I feel like she always TPs like super late, but that was 100% my mistake. 
The fight was the Akali alone, but Lisan also came. I guess he's just gonna destroy everybody. That might be FF. For them. They can end that, right? Yeah, let's shoot. Oh, Darius? Wait, are they not seeing the Darius? Nice. Nice Sue. Seems like we are not going to end or what? Oh, we can for sure. We still have Baron buff on the Lilia. Yes, looks like it is going to be GG's. Nice. So that those are all of the games for this episode, guys. I'll be making more after the new season begins. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, really hope you guys enjoyed it and see you all next time.